Hi, this is JB from No The Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough of the Lord of the Rings LCG. And this time we are playing the second scenario from the uh, Dark of Mirkwood scenario pack. And the scenario is the caves of uh, Needing Doom. And uh, again, we are using the same deck as before in these playthroughs. Uh, I have the deck list in the video description if you're interested, but I won't go into detail about what the deck holds. But you can build the deck by using the cards available in the revised core set, so you don't need any other uh, player cards for the deck. Uh, we start the scenario uh, set up so that we put the uh, cave torch into play onto one of our heroes. I've chosen Elvin to carry the torch. Then, uh, during setup, uh, when we flip this, uh, or during setup, we put the uh, Goblin Chieftain and the Crack Pillar uh, set aside out of play so they won't go into the encounter deck. Then, uh, we uh, we reveal this so uh, each player searches the encounter deck for a different location and that's it, the staging area and shuffle the encounter deck. So I've already done that. So we have the uh, Goblin Dungeon in play. So to travel here, uh, reveal the top card of the encounter deck and responds after Goblin Dungeon leaves play as an exploration. Explored location. The first player searches the top five cards of their deck for an ally and puts it into play under their control. Shuffle the others back into the deck. So we have that, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, we again have these uh, player aid cards here that come in this uh, Dark of Mirkwood box, and uh, uh, other than that, we are ready to begin. So let's get started. So, we are ready to begin. Uh, first off, uh, let's read the fluff text before we flip this so you get an idea what's happening in the scenario. Uh, so, the Dark of Nibindum. Uh, you have pursued the goblins that attacked a woodsman village to the mountains of Mirkwood. The trail leads over a steep ridge where you discover the forgotten dwarf home of Nibindum. You light a torch and enter. Then we flip this after we've done, done the setup. Uh, the dwarves abandoned Nibindum after an earthquake collapsed part of the mine. But it seems the, these couplings have since adapted it as their home. The flickering light of your torch reveals a network of dark passages and you set about searching for signs of the enemy. So we are trying to find the uh, captured villagers and rescue them and that is basically it. So we have shuffled all the decks, so we'll just draw our opening hand and start. So let's see what we get. Uh, so we have Gandalf, uh, Grim Resolve, Faramir, Protector of Lorien, Son of Arnor, and Northern Tracker. So it's a quite heavy hand to start with, so I think I'm going to mulligan. We really want to get some cheaper cards in the beginning to help us out. Okay, let's see, uh, Protector of Lorien, uh, then we get the Northern Tracker, Gandalf again, uh, Faramir, Unexpected Courage, and uh, Sneak Attack, so uh, not the best hand, I really would want to get the Steward of Gondor in play as fast as possible, but what can you do? So we'll go with this. So we'll draw a card. Uh, we gain resources in the res uh, resource phase. There is nothing much to play except I will play the Protector of Lorien onto uh, Breavor. I will actually exhaust Breavor to draw more cards. No help. Um, another. Protector of Lorien and a Miner of the Iron Hills, so not very helpful at the beginning. Uh, we will, uh, we need to get eight progress onto this to advance, so we'll just start questing. 
I'll quest and I will quest and uh, I'll add what do we need I think we want Faramir in play so I'll start adding so, uh, resources onto Theodred yeah Theodred <laughs> forgot the name for a moment okay so that is all so we'll reveal an encounter card and it is wild walks so it won't um, engage us yet but uh, we are five against five so I think I will want some progress done so I'll discard protector of Lorien and uh, do I want to discard anything else not really. So I'll discard the Protector of Lorien to go 6 versus 5. So we add one progress token here. Then nothing happens in the... Uh, well, we travel here. So uh, we reveal the top card of the encounter deck when we travel here. So we get um, Guilty Conscience, Surge. When revealed at us to the hero with the highest threat cost... Uh, Uh, yeah, counts as an adaptation attachment with text force. Raise your threat by two at the end of each round action. Spend two resources from attached hero pool to discard this card. So uh, we have the miner of iron hills, but it's a, yeah, we, we could discard this by using that, but we don't have any resources on Bravar to play that. So. I think I'm attaching it to here and getting rid of it with the um, resources. So that is all we do. We ready up. Oh yeah, we didn't use the torch because we don't have a, a dark location. So let's look at the torch quickly. So attached to a hero restricted action, exhaust cave torch to place up to three progress tokens to a, a dark location, forced after torch. Cape Torch Exhaust, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If that card is an enemy, add it to the staging area. So we didn't use that. And then we raise our threat by one. Let's see. Yeah, we have to actually immediately raise it by two. So that sucks. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources at the start of the round. Then uh, we will draw a card, and it is Cleovine. And uh, the works will um, engage us this round for sure. But we'll see what we can do. Uh, not a lot we can do actually. Well. I think I'm just doing the action to remove this. That slows us down quite a bit, but it is what it is. Uh, then... Can we do anything? Well, we will... Uh, use two resources to play Unexpected Courage on Theodred, so we can quest and fight with Theodred. And that is it. Uh, we'll go to the questing phase, so yeah, we will quest for 4, so we are 4 against 2, and uh, it is a um, uh, goblin tunnel, so a 2, so 4 against 4, and I think I will discard something maybe. I really need to discard anything. No, I'll just take uh, as, at the status quo. So zero again, uh, four against four, so zero progress. And uh, then this enemy will engage us. We'll defend with Breavor. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, let's back up. So 
immediately forgot that I had the unexpected courage, so we will do that. We'll add a resource mm, over here. Then we will ready by uh, exhausting the unexpected courage. So now uh, this engages us. We will defend and uh, we will resolve that. Oh yeah, uh, we can't travel anywhere, so yeah, we got one progress over here. Then uh, the shadow card is nothing, and we take zero damage, and I will attack with the dread for two, so defense of one, so we deal one damage. That is everything we ready up. Again, we didn't use the torch, and. That is it. So we add one threat to the dial and go to the next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Now we add resources. Maybe we can play something this round. And we get a card. And it is Forest Nair. First off, we will play uh, player one. This is because we want to draw cards. Uh, yeah. Okay, then we will use these three to play uh, Silver Lord Archer. So we have ways to deal with that work. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's back up. I forgot the uh, forced ability, so we discard the card if it's a goblin, it engages us. It's not. So we didn't mess up, but good to know. Okay, and uh, that is the planning phase done. I'll go to a questing phase, so we'll quest. And that is it, so four against two. It is uh, search doomed, we have one here. Uh, each player may add one resource for each of the hero's pools. Each player that does raise their threat by five. Um, I'm pretty starved with resources. I'll take a gamble and add one resource to my hero's pools. Add this to five. We have good ways to lower it, so we're at 36 now. And it searches. Uh, the player who controls Cave Torch must either exhaust Cave Torch or progress cannot be placed on the quest until the end of the phase. I'm done with that because I'm basically just adding it to the uh, location. So, uh, 4 against 2, I'll go 5 against 2 by discarding this one. So we'll add here and that is it we'll go to uh, travel phase we can't travel we go to the counter phase that work is already engaged with us so I will oh yeah again <laughs> I'll use this to do this so uh, we actually defeated this one so we get to look at the top five cards and put one ally into play so of course these two uh, we don't have that many choices so I think we take this so we can defend it with it put it into play and shovel the rest back into the deck give it a good shuffle so we next up we'll Oh yeah, now we can actually travel. So I'm traveling here while Goblin Tunnels in the facing area gains force at the Goblin Reveal. Well, we didn't, so we'll travel there. So it's uh, seven uh, progress needed to clear that one. Okay. Then uh, we have this working gates, but this uh, ready is with the unexpected courage. So we'll defend. Uh, it hits us. We'll get a shadow card, deal one damage to character. I'll put it on here. And again, we are not using the 
Okay, oh shit. And uh, then we attack, so we'll attack with these two. That is enough to defeat this work. And that is it, so are we ready up? Slowly but surely we are getting this uh, set up under control. Oh yeah, we could have added attack. So I'm actually using this to draw cards. So I'll get uh, Hemward River Song and Sneak Attack. So that is actually great. We have two Sneak Attacks, so we hope we will... We need to start utilizing those to bring out uh, cards. So Sneak Attack, put one ally card in the play from your hand at the end of phase. If that ally is still in play, return it to your hand so we can... Uh, Use Gandalf really efficiently with those sneak attacks. And then we erase our threat by one. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Now we add resources. Uh, we draw a card. Another Faramir. What do we want to do? So I will play. Uh, Hemward River Song. This is because uh, he will combo really well with the torch, so immediately we can see if there is a goblin here. So there's a goblin, so we don't want to use the torch this uh, before we know that there is not a, an enemy on top of the counter deck. Then, uh, what do we want to do? Next, we have two resources. Oh yeah, I forgot to add one resource somewhere. So I'm, uh, well, I'll add it here. So last round, I when I quested with Theodred, I forgot that. So I'll just add it retrospectively. And uh, we really don't have enough resources to do anything else at this point. So we'll quest and we'll quest. So we'll go to the questing phase. Well, before that, actually, let's draw the card. So I'm drawing a card. Uh, Dwarven Tomb. Okay, not useful yet. Okay, now we'll quest. And uh, I'm quest. Well, we are getting an enemy, so I'll defend and attack with these, so we'll probably kill it. So uh, we are questing five versus. I'll add a resource over here. Actually, over here. Then um, we are five versus zero, and uh, we reveal the top card from here. So this has uh, six. So. We have to discard something. We'll discard one of the Faramirs to go even. And that is it. And now uh, we'll go to the travel phase. Nothing, nowhere to travel encounter phase. This enemy engages us. And I will take it with the Miner of Iron Hills. We'll get a Shadow card. Oh yeah, we ready. Third red. So nothing, no shadow effect, and we have a one defense and one attack, so nothing happens. We'll attack for two, four, uh, six, and this has a defense of zero. Well, let's not attack with this one, so this defeat it, and we'll draw two cards. Uh, stand and fight, and Hammer Smith. We really seem to have the resource cards at the bottom of the deck, but it is what it is, so we go to refresh phase, we ready up. And we add one threat to the dial, so 38. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add resources. We draw a card, and another Hammersmith, so that's not helpful. 
Uh, this round, well, let's draw a card. Hasty stroke, well, might be useful. I'll use these resources to play uh, Northern Tracker. Pushing these up a bit. Then I think we want to play Gandalf later, not yet, so I'm playing Faramir. And now the quest efficiently I'll exhaust, no, well not yet, but this round I will exhaust Faramir. Then I will play one of these. I think I don't have any attachments here, but I have the Protect of Lorien, so... Yeah, so I'll take it into hand. That is the planning phase. Uh, let's look at the top card here. It's not a goblin, so we will actually use the torch here. So we add three progress tokens here and we reveal a card and it is not a goblin or an enemy, so we don't put it into play or into the staging area. And then we'll go to questing. We'll quest with Eo Win, uh, Theodred. Northern Tracker and uh, we'll exhaust Faramir to boost all of these by one and uh, we'll actually quest three over or two so two five ten uh, twelve yeah, 12 against 0, and it is a cave great, uh, <laughs> great cave troll, uh, so it is a 3, so 9, this takes 4, and it is removed, and we put uh, no, 5 here, so I think I said 9, so that is that. And that cave troll will actually engage us, so I'll ready this enemy uh, engages us, hits us for 6, so I'm just gonna run. This guy will defend. And uh, let's see, I will actually sneak attack Gandalf in. Uh, so... Put one ally card into play, so after Gandalf enters play, so I'll deal 4 damage here. Then... This attacks us, we'll... Uh, don't get a shadow effect. This uh, ally is defeated. Gandalf will hit it. Then this archer will hit it for 2 more damage. So we'll definitely defeat this. Oh yeah, and we quested. So, uh, now I can't remember if I had the resource, but yeah. So at the end of the phase, this uh, Gandalf returns into our hand. And we go to the repress phase, so we ready up. And uh, add one threat here. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add some resources again. We draw a card. It is um, the Galadrim's greeting, so that is good when we want to get the threat lowered. So we're at 39 and we lose at 50, so we need to get the threat lowered down somehow. But uh, we'll start by drawing a card. Then we'll uh, look at the top card. Well, yeah, well, let's just look at it. So it will be a goblin runner. So we will get an enemy. So uh, we'll quest two, five, uh, four, five. Uh, we'll add uh, 
where should we add this one? Add it there. And uh, I think that is it. So we get an encounter card. It is one and search. We get lost in the dark. The player who controls cave thoughts must choose. Well, I will cancel that. Test of, with a test of will. Doesn't happen. Okay, so we get this enemy. I will uh, take it with Faramir. Then, ready. We'll take it with Faramir. So, three against two. Nothing in the shadow, so we take one damage on Faramir. Then uh, we'll attack. Uh, we need to deal two damage, so two. Four against one is enough. This is defeated. Oh, yeah, and we didn't resolve the questing. Mm. So we got one. Okay, let's back up. We had five. So we add okay, it's one, so we add four, which is enough to advance. So this will change our a bit. Okay. Surprise attack. As you search the caves of Nipping Doom, you are ambushed, ambu ambushed by goblins. Uh, when revealed, add Goblin Chieftain to the staging area. Each player searches the encounter deck and discard part for a different enemy of their choice and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. Then. Uh, the goblins are led by a large chieftain who whips them into a frenzy. The soldiers attack you with reckless uh, savagery and you struggle to gain the upper hand. During the encounter phase, treat each enemy's engagement cost as if it were zero, so every enemy will attack us. This stage gets plus four questing quest points for each enemy in play. Uh, so we get this nasty guy. So it's Xs are the stage number, so two, 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 and eight health, but cannot be damaged. Take dam damage, cannot take attachments, force after goblin chief and attacks. Either remove X progress from the quest or return it to the staging area. Then mm, we'll grab an enemy of our choice. Mm, not another control, please. So I'll take this easy one. Shuffling the encounter deck. We have these two also to deal with. Um, so uh, we'll take this one with Reavor. Uh, so Shadow Card for that. Mm, uh, raise your threat by one for each point of damage dealt by this attack. Zero, so zero. And this will, will defend with this. And uh, I'll actually sneak attack Gandalf in again. So we deal. We'll uh, remove five threats. So 34. And this uh, enemy. This takes zero from this, so Gandalf will defeat this one. Gandalf returns into our hand at the end of the phase. And uh, that is everything, so we ready up. Oh yeah, and... Uh, okay, so... We have readied up, we'll raise the threat by one. And that is it, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Now we add threat to the heroes. We get a card. It is the Steward of Condor, finally. Well, next round we can stop the ball rolling. But this round... Do we have a good card to grab from here? No. 
I will uh, boost everything up by one willpower. I'll quest it. Well, let's see. Do you want to play anything? I will play this. We don't have an attachment here, I think. Yeah. So in. Instead, I think I'll play this one. That is the planning phase done, and we'll go to questing. Uh, let's check the top car. Yeah, we don't need to. Well, let's do it anyway. It's a location. Okay, and uh, we'll quest for. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so nine against zero. I think we have good chance to do it. So it is one. So we have enough to beat this stage. Okay. So the chasm, the goblin retreat. The goblins retreat down a dark tunnel and you have you chase them into a large hall of many pillars. A wide chasm runs the wides of the hall and goblins race across on a large plank. Their chieftain casts the plank into the depths of the chasm and dis disappears, leaving you uh, stranded on the other side. When revealed, set goblin chieftain aside out of play at crack pillar to the staging. As you search for a way across, you see that one tall pillar near the edge of the chasm has cracked where it meets the ceiling. If you topple the pillar, it could serve to bridge the gap. Force reveal an additional encounter card during the quest phase. Progress cannot be placed on cracked pillar while it is in the staging area. After cracked pillar leaves play and as an explored location advance to stage 4a. So this guy goes away. This location comes into play, and we can travel here. And now we reveal extra encounter cards from the start of the next run. So, uh, how do we get uh, this damage? So, while Cracked Pillar is in the staging area, it gains the first player may declare an attack against Cracked Pillar during the combat phase as if it was an enemy engaged with them. Use crack pillars uh, threat as its defense during this attack. Travel. Remove four damage from crack pillar to travel here. So uh, this turn we will just uh, ready an attack. That with everything we got. So this is four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll deal eight damage there, which is enough. And that is everything, no enemies, he'll uh, skip the uh, rest of the combat phase, refresh phase, we will refresh everything. And I'm always uh, exhausting the torch even when not using it, but that it is what it is. So. We'll add a threat here, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add resources. We get a card. So now we can play the Steward of Gondor, and I will use it immediately. So we'll just add two here. Then uh, we want to quest. So I will quest. Uh, I'll see if I want to pay anything. I'll use these three resources to lower my threat by six. We're down to thirty again. And uh, I think that's good enough for this round. So we'll quest uh, first. Of we will check this. 
it is an enemy, so we don't want to uh, use the torch. So we'll just quest for uh, five. Six, seven. We'll use the paramir, so we five, six, seven against two. So we go nine versus two. That adds one here. We can't add anything here while it's in the staging area. I think that is enough. So we reveal this. So it has two, so four against one, two. Seven, eight, nine, so five, so two here, and that is it. So, uh, actually, let's read. So, uh, while brain, uh, branching paths is in the staging area, it's dark location. It gets plus one. There is none, and this was in the active location. After branching paths, please play as an exploration location. Uh, look at the top three cards of the encounter deck, choose one to reveal and move the other two to the bottom of the deck in any order. Okay, what do we want? What do we want? So... We'll just this location. Then we travel here. Then... Uh, we will engage this enemy. Uh, when cave, cavern work attacks, you exhaust cavern, cave torch to cancel the attack and return cavern work. So uh, we know that it's a location, so we can just exhaust the torch to cancel the attack. Yeah, and then we'll just attack it back. So it has a defense of two. So two, we ready up this one of four. Five is enough, so this is defeated. And that is that, so we go to the refresh phase, we ready up. And we add one threat here. That is that round. Next turn we want to defeat that one and progress the quest. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. I'll add resources, and now I think I forgot to use the Steward of Gondor last round, so I'll use it this round immediately so I don't forget. And uh, that is that, so we'll actually want to... We'll actually want to not play Gandalf yet. We'll play it next round, so I'll just play... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just play this to get another ally into play. And let's check the top card here, and it is uh, eyes in the dark, so that's fine. Oh yeah, we actually, yeah, I forgot to we need to reveal a second one here. Well, I'll reveal it now, so add one. And each player must choose other, each questing character you control, this questing character you control. Well, we had like three. 35. Sorry for messing that up, but for, forgot this forced ability. Okay, I think that's everything we want to do in the planning phase, questing phase. Uh, we will quest like madmen. So we need to get rid of this to advance this. So we'll quest for. Actually, do it like this. So for. Six, add one resource over here. Hmm. Yeah. I'll add it over here. And we'll get two cards. Six. I'll quest with Faramir, so go to eight. So that comes into play and we get doomed one. 
uh, it's player must choose either race to first by one for each question character or discard question character. So I'll discard. I want discard, so I'll add one, two, three, so thirty-nine. That's going getting a bit clutch. When crumbling stairs in the in the staging area, progress cannot be placed on it. Pause. When crumbling stairs leaves play. Uh, as an exploration location, discard the top card of the encounter deck. If the discarded card is a location, put it into play as an active location. Okay. But well, we will we are able to advance this. And we uh, then go to the out, out keepers. You've made a, it across the chasm and resumed the chase. The goblins rally around their chieftain of the, uh, outside the dungeons where the woodsman villagers are being held, you must defeat the goblins. Left the leader if you are to fulfill your oath and rescue the captives. Add goblin chieftain to the questing area. Then, while there are at least eight progress tokens on this, this stage, goblin chieftain loses the text, cannot be uh, cannot take damage. This stage cannot be defeated while Goblin Chieftain is in play. When this stage is defeated, the heroes rescue the captives, fulfilling their oaths and players win the game. So you need to get 8 here, uh, defeat this, and that is it. But now we can travel here. So we don't have to mind that anymore. Or, or we don't get the threat from that. Then. Uh, we won't engage because we can't damage yet, so I will actually draw a card, test of will, and that doesn't engage us yet. And now this is a 4-4-4 four, four, four because we are at the stage 4, and that is everything we want to do, so we'll ready up. Raise our threat to 40, so next turn that will engage us. And... Uh, That is it, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add resources, and again, I will add the uh, God of Gondor immediately. Mm, then I will actually do it like so. So I will play Gandalf. We will uh, remove four. Uh, 5 from here, so 35. This is just because uh, we can't damage this yet. But next round we will play Gandalf uh, again. Hopefully. So I'm actually drawing cards to get another Gandalf in hand. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> okay. Then we will quest uh, one. Do you want to play anything else? No. So. Post everything up for questing. I'll actually check the top card. It is not an enemy, so I will. Well, that's not a um, dark location, so we can't use the torch. Okay, so 5, 10. I'll add one here. That 12. Uh, 14, we get one from oh, this location, or was it? Oh no, it's just a staging area. So 12, uh, 14, 16, 18. I think that's good enough. So uh, we get an encounter card. And it is 4, so 18, uh, so we defeat this, so we'll still have uh, so 14, we'll still have 11, that is plenty, so now this guy can take damage. And, uh, yeah, so uh, do we have a card to do something especially annoying? So this engages us, 
Well, well, it doesn't engage us actually. Oh yeah, and it's minus four, so we'll actually drop. Uh, yeah, I forgot that this adds. So I'll just add one, two. So we remove two from here, but that is still enough. Okay, now it should be correct. Uh, we'll travel over here. And Gandalf, please play. Be ready up. Add one threat here. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, definitely the last round. We'll add uh, three here using the steward again. And one to the others. Now this guy can take damage, so we'll uh, play Gandalf. Deal four damage here. Then we will west and. Uh, Hmm, how much do I need to quest for? So I, I have to cancel this, plus we need four more, so we'll ready. Yeah, we'll quest the red. And uh, we'll quest with this ranger boys. No, quest with this, which means I'll exhaust this boost. So, uh, one, two. 7, 8, 9 against 4, and it is a minus 2, that's okay. So, uh, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll discard one card from hand to boost Elvin to defeat this one. Oh yeah, I had to exhaust cave, so we got, yeah, I don't know, in, it, it might have brought one enemy, we'll check it now. Okay, so we get the cave troll, well, it's a cave troll, okay, because I forgot to exhaust the uh, torch to travel there, but it is what it is, so uh, we'll engage this one. Uh, this will take that one, and uh, well, this will take that one. Then I uh, will see Shadow Card for this. Will one damage the character you control? Well, we'll put it over here. Then uh, we'll check this one. Shadow, if this attack destroys a character, return attacking enemy to a staging area for this. Okay, so that goes there. This. Well, it uh, no, it doesn't destroy a character. So let's back up. So we'll take one damage. This one, no shadow effect. So this is just pulverized. But then uh, Gandalf uh, will ready. Theodred, Theodred will attack. Brewer will attack. This Archer will attack. This will attack, and this will attack. So we'll deal two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9 damage here, minus 4 is 5, so that is enough. We defeat the Goblin Chieftain, so, uh, so when this stage is defeated, heroes rescue the captives, fulfilling their oaths, and the players win the game. So uh, after we defeat this Goblin Chieftain, uh, this will advance this, and that is the game, so I really like both of the scenarios that come in the, the Dark of Mirkwood uh, expansion, so I strongly encourage you to grab that if you only have the core box and not, uh, and you are a bit tired of playing those scenarios. So uh, this is a good buy, and the scenarios are quite fun to play, and you can play them easily with the cards that come in the core box. 
but hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.